हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक आई एम चेतन पवार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी वर्किंग एट गोखले एजुकेशन सोसायटीज आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड सायंस कॉलेज जवार डिस्ट्रिक्ट पालघर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड द यूनिट वन दैट इज पैलिओ बॉटनी फ्रॉम द टी वाई बी एस सी बॉटनी पेपर सेकेंड ऑफ मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी वेर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड और स्टार्टेड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट वन पैलिओ बॉटनी दैट इज द लेपिडो डेंड्रॉन फ्रॉम दिस लेपिडो डेंड्रॉन फॉसिल इन योर इन अवर प्रीवियस प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मॉर्फोलॉजी सिस्टमेटिक पोजिशन एंड द एनाटॉमी ऑफ द लेपिडो डेंड्रॉन प्लांट इन अवर टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन we are going to mainly study the reproductive structures in lepido dendron so let's start with the reproductive structures the reproductive structures of lepido dendron they showed the two important characteristics first one is that the reproductive structures were heterosporous heterosporous means producing two different types of spores megaspores and microspores and the second characteristic was their sporophylls were organized into the well defined cones the cones were bisporangiate that means consisting of two types of sporangia microsporangia and megasporangia and being bisporangiate cone had both microsporophylls and the megasporophylls attached to a cone axis they were compactly arranged in a tight spiral with variable phyllotaxy so this is the main important important characteristics of the reproductive structures of the lepidodendron so let's start with the lepidostrobus lepidostrobus it is the strobulus of lepidodendron and it is placed in the form genus that is the lepidostrobus that means lepidostrobus it represents the strobulus or the cone of lepidodendron lepidodendron is the plant and its cone or strobulus it is a it is placed into the form genus which is called as a lepidostrobus the strobili they are elliptical and they are having a diameter of 1 to 7 cm and the length of 2.5 to 30 cm that is the length and diameter of lepidostrobus then it is a heterosporous and the sporophylls are arranged on the central axis in a spiral manner it is as like a silaginella the sporophylls are pelted that means with upper terminal lobe which is clasping the sporophylls above then the sporophylls each sporophyll it is a pelted which is having the bract or lobe which is a clasping structure here you can see these are the bracts then it also shows the presence of ligule ligule is present over here it is shown which is present after the sporang sporangium after the sporangium there is a ligule is present then also it consist of heel heel is present at the lower side and the stipe stipe means the stalk the stalk or the pedicel of the sporophyll so these four structures are present in each sporophyll and this sporophyll it shows the presence of the sporangium on its adaxial surface adaxial means upper surface so upper surface of each sporophyll it shows the presence of sporangium the sporophylls of lower part that means these sporophylls the sporophylls of lower part they had the megasporangia with a few megaspores here you can see this is the sporophyll 
this is the sporophyll and on this sporophyll this is the sporangium as it is present on the megasporophyll then it is called as a megasporangium towards the lower side there is the megasporangium megasporophylls and uh, towards the upper side there is the microsporophylls megasporophylls be are the megasporangium these are the megasporangia plural megasporangia singular megasporangium these are the megasporangia and towards the upper side there is the microsporangia that means microsporangia are present on the upper side and megasporangia are present on the lower side of the cone this is the central axis central axis of the strobilus or cone and these are the sporophylls which are arranged spirally and on these sporophylls the sporangia are present on the upper or adaxial surfaces these are sporangia they are radially elongated and they are attached to the adaxial surface of the sporophyll they are radially elongated here you can see these sporangia they are radially elongated here i repeat the sporophylls of the lower part of the cone they have the megasporangia while the microsporangia are present on the upper sporophylls on these upper sporophylls there is the presence of microsporangia and on the lower sporophylls there is a presence of the megasporangia and all these sporangia they are radially elongated and they are attached by the they are uh, attached on the adaxial surface of the sporophyll then the next part is the gametophytes the gametophytes in lepidodendron they show the endosporic development they showed endosporic development endosporic means within the spore the development of gametophyte takes place within the spore then it is called as a endosporic development the gametophytes in lepidodendron they were of two types mega gametophyte and micro gametophyte mega gametophyte means female gametophyte which is produced from the megaspore or which is produced in the megaspore from megaspore and within megaspore it is produced it is called as the mega gametophyte in female gametophyte or mega gametophyte the archegonia development occurs in exposed tissue exposed tissue it showed the development of archegonia these mature archegonia they showed the four tiers of the neck cells with four cells per tier that means total 16 cells neck cells 16 neck cells were present which were placed into the four tiers and the these four tiers they are contain each tier containing the four cells in the in the winter of the at least one archegonium that means out of the uh, many archegonia are present there and out of these archegonia the at least one archegonium it showed the presence of the winter and there was a egg like cell is present in the winter then the micro gametophyte micro gametophyte means male gametophyte which was produced from the microspore and it is it shows the two celled stage of the gametophyte according to researchers or investigators they have observed the two celled stage of the micro gametophyte so this is all regarding the gametophytes gametophytes were of two types micro and mega gametophyte the overall development of the gametophyte it is of endosporic type then the next part is the lepidocarpon this is the the ovule or seed of the lepidodendron lepidocarpon it is ovule or seed or more properly we can we can say it is a false seed of the lepidodendron which is called as a lepidocarpon that means lepidocarpon it is a it is a form genus for the ovule or the false seed of lepidodendron it is it is obtained or these are found in the form of the compression fossils the lepidocarpon 
they have evolved structure that afforded protection to the megaspore and megagametophyte in this diagram you can see the megagametophyte or the megaspore it gets protected due to this lepidocarpon the megasporangium with a single fertile structure is present in this lepidocarpon there is a megasporangium which is having a single fertile structure the entire structure it consists of the megasporangium with one megaspore here you can see this is the female gametophyte means this is the mega gametophyte and this is the wall of the megasporangium this is the megasporangium in cone there are two types of sporangia are present microsporangia and megasporangia megasporangia out of that the megasporangium it shows the presence of the megaspores and these megaspores out of these megaspores spores the one becomes functional and it shows the development of the female gametophyte that's why this is the female gametophyte which is developed in the megasporangium wall and this female gametophyte it shows the presence of the archegonia here you can see these are the archegonia the entire structure consists of megasporangium with one megaspore and is covered by the lateral lamina here you can see these are the false integuments and these false integuments they are produced from the lateral lamina here it is shown that they are the false integuments which are produced from the lateral lamina so this entire structure which looks like a seed it is a false seed and it is the ovule of lepidodendron the enclosure is incomplete forming a narrow micropyle here you can see this is the false micropyle these are the false integuments and these are the archegonia then here this is the megasporangium wall and this is the structure of female gametophyte which is also called as a mega gametophyte at maturity the sporophyll and the sporangium with megaspore shed as a unit hence this is called as a seed as it is it gets shed in the at maturity it gets shed as a complete unit this is called as a seed so from this lepidocarpon we can uh, we can uh, find out the some seed characteristics the seed characteristics of lepidocarpon it includes the first one that is the single functional megaspore in the megasporangium this is this is the characteristic of the seed and it is also shown by the lepidocarpon so single functional megaspore in the megasporangium then the second seed characteristic is that the retention of fun functional megaspore in the megasporangium functional megaspore it retains within the megasporangium then the formation of endosporic megagametophyte which we have already discussed that the formation of endosporic megagametophyte this is also the important characteristic for the formation of seed seed habit then the formation of an integuments that delimited a micropyle formation of integuments which are formed from the lateral lamina actually these are also uh, these are not a true integuments so it, these are the false integuments but they are formed and that limited a micropyle at the top these are the seed characters then the basic characters of the seed which are totally absent in the lepidocarpon they include the megasporangium wall is dehiscent this should not be there in the seed habit so megasporangium wall is it is a dehiscent then the fertilization took place with the help of water water is required for the fertilization and this is not a characteristic of the seed true seed then the integuments they are foliar in nature that's why they are called as a false integuments and these are not the true integuments so from this explanation you can understand that the 
lepidocarpon it is a false seed structure it shows the seed characteristics but the some seed characters which are basic for the seed habit they are totally absent so that's why it is a false seed structure these are the references by using these references you can derive the most more information regarding the fossil thank you